Good morning. It's May 25th, 2022. I'm Mariana Mancuso. This is Mornings with Mancuso. Friends, every afternoon I start working toward building the next day's show. I start thinking about what we're going to talk about, different stories I want to share with you. And yesterday afternoon, as I was looking at the early primary results and kind of watching everything that was coming through, I thought we were going to talk about the primary results. I was ready to tell you about Georgia, what we saw in Arkansas and Alabama, and then there was a mass shooting in elementary school. And we are less than two weeks from the last mass shooting. I know people start asking, when will the body count be high enough? When will we actually take action on gun control? We heard the president last night address the nation and say that we had to stop, we have to do something. And it's really unfortunate. And the only thing that I can say in this moment regarding what had happened, aside from how tragic it was and that I pray for everyone that was touched by that shooting and knowing, unfortunately, that thoughts and prayers are no longer enough. But I will say this. If the Republicans used as much fervor as they did to legislate every woman's body in this country to go after gun control and to help stop mass shootings, we might actually get somewhere. The Democrats have a slim lead in Congress, and it's going to be hard to do anything before the midterms because I can tell you as an analyst, looking at everybody who's running in contested races across the nation, they don't want to have to bring a gun bill to vote because what happens is the vote will go on record. Then their opponent will use that against them. I say, who cares? Let's make them vote. Let's pass gun regulation law legislation today. We cannot wait for another innocent life to be lost, another mass shooting to happen, or more children to die. Remember. President Biden was the vice president during the time of Sandy Hook. This has to stop. As much as I'd like to end the show there, I do think it is important to talk about the primary results, specifically in Georgia. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene did win her primary election, and she will face off against Marcus Flowers, who's running on the Democrat side and has the slogan, Send Flowers to Congress. I can't say I hate that idea. Now, looking at the other races, specifically the governor, Brian Kemp will face off against Stacey Abrams. It is important to note that Brian Kemp did not have Donald Trump's endorsement. His opponent, David Perdue, did, and he lost. He was peddling election conspiracy theories. And Brian Kemp won with a wider margin than he did in 2018 when he was endorsed by Donald Trump. So what do I make of all of this? It tells me that Georgia voters are tired of the 2020 election lies and that they just want to elect people who are principled and who will uphold election results as the voters want them and as the voters had voted for those people. It looks like the election lie of 2020 may be on its way out. As always, be great, nothing else pays. I'm Mary Mancuso. This is Mornings with Mancuso.